there, Mrs. Rock here. You know, one of my dreams in life is to go on an Arctic expedition and see all of the wildlife that you can find in the Arctic Ocean, like walruses and beluga whales and narwhals and polar bears. So today we're gonna get inspired by polar bears to make a polar bear collage. Let's get started. Here are the materials you're going to need. We want to begin with our polar bear head. So let's get out our white piece of paper and a pencil, and we're gonna draw out the outline of our polar bear head first. So I'm going to use three fingers and line them up at the bottom of my paper right near the corner, and I'm gonna draw a little tick mark, just a little tiny pencil mark to help me remember where to start my line. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side of my paper. Line my three fingers up near the bottom and make a little tick mark on the side of my paper. Then I'm going to make a big arch shape that goes from one tick mark to the other. So I'm gonna use my hand as a helpful guide to help me make that big arch shape over my hand and back down to the other side. So my hand is right in the middle of my paper, not up really high, kind of more towards the bottom, right in the center. And I'm going to use my pencil to go up over my hand and back down to the other side. It's okay if my line's a little bit wobbly. I can fix that like that. There we go. Next, I need some ears for my polar bear. So I'm going to use my thumb for that. I'm going to put one thumb here up at the top of my head and draw around my thumb to make one ear. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Now I'm ready to cut on this line, but I don't want to cut here or here. So I'm going to just draw a couple little lines here to remind myself that I'm not going to cut on those lines. I want to make sure that I'm cutting on the outer edge around my polar bear and around the ears. I don't want to accidentally cut off my ears. Okay, I've cut out my polar bear head and now I'm ready to glue it to my background paper. You could use a piece of blue construction paper as your background or a piece of purple. Even a piece of pink would work or light blue. Something that looks kind of like a wintry sky. So I'm gonna use this piece of purple paper because I'm thinking about how in the winter, the sunlight is a little bit lower and sometimes when the sun goes down, the sky looks a little bit purpley, but it's up to you what color you wanna use for your background. Now I'm ready to glue my polar bear head to my background paper. But look, this is the side that has the pencil lines and I wanna hide those pencil lines. An artist is like a magician. We wanna hide our secrets. So that part is going to face down. Glue down the pencil side. I wanna make sure that I line up the bottom of my polar bear head with the bottom of my background paper. So make sure when you're gluing it down that that bottom edge is really nice and even. I'm gonna apply my glue to the pencil side so that I can hide it on the back side. I tip my glue bottle over, let gravity pull the glue to the tip of the glue bottle. I'm about one finger width away from the edge of my paper so that the glue doesn't ooze out the side. And I'm drawing with my glue bottle, nice even lines of glue. I don't have a big puddle of glue. And you can use a glue stick if you don't have a glue bottle. And I'm going to carefully turn it over, line it up with the bottom of my background paper, smooth it out neatly. And next, I'm gonna get started on the nose. You're gonna need 
need a scrap piece of black paper and I'm gonna cut out a rectangle that's pretty small about the size of a credit card or a business card. It's about one and a half inches by two and a half inches. It could be a little bit bigger or a little bit smaller. We're gonna cut it down a little bit smaller anyway. Just as it is, that would be a very rectangular nose to my polar bear. So I'm gonna round off the corners. I'm going to do that by cutting off one corner here. I'm going to cut off another corner here and I'm going to cut kind of a long triangle off that side and a long triangle off the other side. So it ends up looking something like a kite with kind of squared off edges. But still, it's pretty pointy. So I'm going to use my scissors and just turn the nose a little bit like a steering wheel on a car, like I'm driving with the paper, as I cut and just kind of round off those edges because my polar bear's nose isn't pointy. So I wanna make sure I have nice rounded edges, kind of like that. And yours might look a little bit different than mine. It might be a little bit shorter. It might be a little bit longer. My one here is a little bit smaller, a little bit shorter, but you know, they're all different. That's okay. And I'm gonna glue this nose down too. Right in the center of the face. Now we need our black crayon. I'm gonna draw two eyes and I'm just making simple little dots for the eyes. You could make yours have eyebrows or eyelashes, or you could make your eyes some other different way. I'm just keeping mine really simple with two little dots. And then I'm going to make the mouth. For the mouth, I'm going to come down from the nose and make the letter J. And then I'm gonna come down from the nose again and make a backwards J. He's looking so cute. The next thing I'm gonna do is draw a little C shape, like a little rainbow line in each ear. Now it's really looking like a cute polar bear. Because my polar bear lives in the Arctic, I'm going to add some snow in my background. I'm gonna need a white crayon for that. Let's draw some snowflakes. Remember, snowflakes have six points. So we're gonna start with an X. and then draw a line through it. And there's our snowflake. That's a really simple snowflake. You can add little details to make it look a little bit more interesting. Like arrows, or lines, or even some circles. I'm gonna fill the background with some more snowflakes. Some of them can be big, some of them can be small. And maybe some of them can be just dots. a cute little scarf to my polar bear now. So what I need is a long strip of paper for this part and two smaller strips for the fringy part of the scarf down here. You can use any color of construction paper you want and then add details and a pattern to your scarf. I want my scarf to be this light blue color. So I'm going to figure out how thick my scarf can be. I don't want to cover up the mouth of my polar bear. I want it just below the mouth. So I'm going to use my pencil again and make a little tick mark on my paper for how wide my scarf needs to be. And then I'm going to use my scissors and cut that strip of paper for my scarf. And if it's not perfect, if it's a little wobbly, and gets thicker or thinner in some places, that's okay. 
because that's kind of how a real scarf is in real life anyway. Okay, so now I need those two little strips that are gonna come down below. I'm going to take this strip of paper and cut it in half. And those will be my two strips coming down like that. I'm ready to add some details to my scarf. I want to make a pattern. This polar bear has a striped scarf and I like the way that looks. So what I'm gonna do is cut out little strips of paper and make a pattern on my scarf. You can use any color you would like for your scarf. I'm gonna use these two colors to make those stripes for my scarf. So I'm just gonna line up the two pieces of paper to cut my little stripes. Now I'm ready to glue them on. add some stripes to these parts too but before I do I'm gonna cut some fringe. Fringe is adding texture just by making cuts in the edge of your paper. It will kind of end up looking like the tassel -y end of a scarf and you can even move some of these around to make them look like they're blowing in the cold arctic wind. Let's add some stripes to these too. Oh my goodness, I cut just the right amount. Yay. Okay, now I'm ready to glue my scarf together. I'm going to put a little dot of glue here on my polar bear and put this piece down and another little dot of glue here and lay this one down and then I'm going to make a line of glue all the way across and glue my scarf down making sure that I'm not going over the mouth of my polar bear. So cute! The last thing I'm going to add to my polar bear collage are some snowflakes. So for that, I'm going to need a thin piece of paper, like printer paper, and I'm gonna start off with just some squares. I'm gonna cut a square, pretty small, about two or three inches wide by two or three inches tall. And I'm gonna cut a couple of them because I think I want a couple snowflakes floating down from the snow clouds up in the Arctic. And if you want to do a circular snowflake, you'll just have to find something circular around that you can trace and cut out. To cut your snowflake, just take your square, fold it in half like a triangle. Try to line the sides up as best you can if they're not perfect, that's okay, that happens. And then fold it in half again, like a triangle. And once more, folding it in half along that long side to make an even smaller triangle. That's pretty tiny. Then you're gonna take your scissors, and what I do is just trim the very tip off of each corner to start. You'll end up with lots of little pieces of paper on your desk. And then I cut into each fold with at least one triangle. It will kind of make a V shape when I cut in from the edge. I have to open up my scissors really wide and be very careful that I don't chomp down on my fingertips. So there's one V shape cut out. I'm gonna find another side, open my scissors up really wide, cut in from the edge. I have to be really careful of my fingertips. 
Sometimes I have to pull the paper away. And here's the last folded edge. Be careful not to cut all the way through your snowflake because that will just cut your snowflake apart. So when I open it up, I end up with a beautiful snowflake. If I want to make a snowflake that has more openings in it, I just have to make more cuts along that folded edge. So I would have more of these cuts along the folded edges here in order to have more of these openings. I'm pretty happy with the way this one turned out. I'm gonna cut two more now. Fold my square in half. Oop, it didn't quite line up there. I had more of a rectangle than a square. There we go. Make another fold into another triangle. And one more fold into another triangle. And then I snip off the corners, just the tips of the corners. And then I open my scissors up really wide to cut those V shapes from the edges. And like I said before, if I want more of these openings, I can cut more of these V shapes, these kind of triangles out of my sides, out of the edges. But careful not to cut all the way through to the other side, because then you'll just chomp your snowflake right in half and then it'll fall apart. Okay, here's another snowflake. And next I'm gonna try the circular snowflake. So I'm going to fold it in half, fold it in half again. So now it looks like a big piece of pizza. Fold it in half one more time. So now it's a small piece of pizza. I'm going to bite off the tip, yum. Bite off part of the crust, part of the crust here. And then I can make those V-shaped cuts that look like triangles out of the edges. I might even be able to fit two here. One and two. Be careful that your scissors don't slip so you don't chomp through the whole snowflake. There's my circular snowflake. Oh my goodness, look at all this snow I made. Now I can glue my snowflakes onto the background above and around my polar bear. I'm just putting little tiny dots of glue on my snowflake because if I put too much glue, it will just make a mess. What an awesome collage and it was so fun to make. I hope you had fun too. Remember when you're creating, the possibilities are 